Oh god, the mirror. Not the mirror. And the play as well. Alright, we need mana death grip and we need her to not have mana death grip. This is a hand that I would love to see if I was on that side of the table, but I'm not. Um, I think I'd rather have a Wolf Raven than a Kindred Hunter. Um, this is probably good, like, this thing puts a ton of pressure on my opponent. Okay, we can we can turn one Corona if we don't replace this into a proper 2-drop. Turn one Corona is okay because it makes the Wolf Raven miles better. Like, this guy's normally awkward going first, but he would be just fine um, if we Corona'd. It also, of course, opens up an option for us to play... I don't know. Ignore me. <laughs> so I think... I think we'd still rather have the 2-drop. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we're actually supposed to play this. Um, I feel like Frigid Corona can do a lot more in the mid to late game. Like, I, I mean, even as an answer to, like, a Wailing Overdrive unit. Overdrive? A buffed thing um you know it, it, for a turn it's good but keeping my opponent on that side of the board is pretty strong when i have these cards in my hand so my opponent actually like here i mean if they rope and we get seven two without effort i can't really complain okay nope thanks deck no, this is this is fine. Um, although I think we're still playing the Wolf Raven unless she plays something that really has to be tigered, like a Wings of Paradise or something. I guess in theory we could like replace into Mana Death Grip and do Tiger Mana Death Grip on a Wolf Raven or whatever, some X Four. What are you doing? Playing our scout. That's pretty good. Um, dice to this though. So I'm gonna leave this kind of in safety, I think. This guy, this is fine actually, because we can play this plus Tiger. Uh, this is quite good, especially before Warbirds comes out in force. This is slow, so I'm gonna replace it. That's sick. Uh, that is my best draw. I'm gonna put this over here just to keep it slightly further away from the Snow Rippler, because as flying, it doesn't matter. Um, and even if it gets chromatic coded, it can still come up here and let me play something on this mana tile. In fact, maybe I should contest the tile. Although I don't have a 5 drop, it doesn't matter too much. Yeah. Do I want to get hit for 3? I don't think I do. I can come here, actually. Give me access to some mana tile goodness. So next turn I can have up to 6 mana if I walk onto this tile and take something here. Or actually just fly the Wolf Raven onto something. Um, could I have done this better to place Saber Spine and Overdrive next turn? I don't think so. I can Overdrive this though. If I want. Like if she Frost flies this I can Overdrive to trade. Leaving aside the question of whether that's worth it. Don't think Saber Spine Scorn is pos possible yet. So we kill this, obviously, with the Wolf Raven. Uh, assuming it remains undispelled. If one opponent dispels it, I guess I'll just Saber Spine and hit this. Hmm. Saber Spine Tiger, you say. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, she's got the Dispel. That's so lame. I think. I could even Snowpiercer and kill this, actually. It's an option. Like, Crystal Cloaker there. Oh my god. That's terrifying. Don't stop. What? <laughs> How have you got so much mana? <laughs> the hell? <laughs> okay. Um, that is rough. So if I, I can play Cloaker, come up, attack this with Snowpiercer. 
I don't really want to flash freeze a snow chaser, but I can. Um, I can save a spine here, come up, attack. Uh, it still only leaves me on two mana. I can play something in Warbird, but obviously doesn't achieve a lot. Uh, no Wailing Overdrive. Scorn doesn't do much. Anything really. But it might be good next turn. Like Scorn Flash Freeze is quite good, but you can like Flash Freeze this. But I think the Snowpiercer has to be the play. Um, which only leaves me with this. And I can Flash Freeze the Snow Chaser if I want. Uh, which means my opponent will use as a Herald or her face to get rid of the artifact rather than um, trading the Snow Chaser in. And then the Snow Chaser dies to Blistering Scorn next turn. Um, I think that's the best option I have. She also has to respect this, I guess. Although there's not really much to respect. Freeze this. Um, I guess I keep these. I, the overdrive is like... The overdrive, I guess, can go on this next turn. We can come up overdrive and bosh. Um... Pleasingly, this does body block her from accessing the Wolf Raven, which is nice. Hey, uh, starting with your in-depth gauntlet run, which may be starting to enjoy gauntlets. Thanks for that. I went through most of your YouTube stuff, and to me, at least yours is probably the best duelist con content out there. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you to say. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, this is a this is the draft I've done after the in-depth gauntlet run. Same faction. Similar quality deck. It's pretty shonky. Uh, right, so hopefully this will get rid of the yeah, a Herald. Or at least deal my opponent 5 so we're even on life totals. Attacking this. So, Heart Sister? No, she's used Wilbur already. So, like, Mana Death Grip? Frostbolt? No, not dead. Really? <laughs> Damn you. Um, I mean, I can clear that, but, like, my life total is going to be so sad. That works. Oh, I guess we can save a spine of Warbird and run away from this. Um, save a spine, Warbird leaves me with only one mana. So the draft video on YouTube started out so well. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Um, ooh, that might be good next time. Uh, how do I not just die? I think we have to do it like this. Um, we're still really low on any sort of resource, but we have Death Blighter to try and force a swing next time. So if my opponent continues to only have small stuff, we'll be okay. We're going to like 12 next turn. Yeah, no. Yeah, that doesn't refresh yet. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, Concealing Shroud might win us this game. So we can make some really nice plays with this, such as um, Shroud Scorn and Trade. So we kill a three Toughness minion, clear this. Um, shroud, obviously. If we draw White Asp or Snowpiercer again, we can Shroud. What are you doing? I mean, if she's going to play Infiltrate minions over there, I'm going to run away. <laughs> Like, that is not a problem for me. I can just flee. Um, I guess we can play the Scorn anyway and reset and get something on the board for Wailing Overdrive. Okay, that's getting Death Blighted. 100%. Um, well, I guess we can do the Scorn Shroud thing, depending on... Is that another minion? Spell Jammer. My oh my. So if I Death Blighter here, I can kill this. Um, I go to 14... If I Shroud Scorn instead, I'm gonna. She's gonna be able to trade into the Scorn. But that's kind of okay, actually. I can put it here so my opponent can't kill it easily. Um, and I get to draw an extra card off this. We still keep the Death Blighter for clearing up next turn. Um, we can keep Wailing Overdrive. I imagine this is gonna die, so I'm not actually replace this, but. Like, it's gonna be difficult to stick minions for a little while. It is an easy way to just go whoop and win the game, though. Um, yeah, let's go for it. It's going to be Shroud up. I guess I'm just going to stay where I am positionally. 
The only problem with this is it lets my opponent pick up the snow chase and replace it, but I think I'll just deal with that. It's fine. Kill this. What can I draw this better than Wailing Overdrive in my deck? Like, we've used the Shroud, so White Asp doesn't do it. Blue Conjurer would be a good one. Um, removal, generally, would be good. I don't think we have any healing at all. But maybe I'm supposed to ship this in case <laughs> some miraculously appears. No, I'm going to keep all of this. There's a chance my opponent leaves this up because they want to protect the spell jammer. Oh, that, that's good. Deathblight to Blood Tear Alchemist clears this without us having to attack it. This is good as well. We can try and put this in the corner if my opponent runs away. So we're even on cards. We're basically even on board. I actually have a life lead now, which is nice. Um, but my opponent has the tempo advantage. But this will help with that in a, in a significant way. Or, you know, this. We can try and put the we can put the arrow whistler in the corner and hope to overdrive it. That might be nice. I don't know if we bother killing this. I guess we have to. We might as well, depending on what else my opponent does. Like we need to protect our life total. So we can do like death blighter here, ping this, whatever this is, might get eaten by either the blighter or the scorn. Mobius, Mobius. Mobius. Sweet card. Yes, more Death Blighter Valley. Please. That dies the Death Blighter. Good times. Yeah, so I guess we like to attack this alchemist somewhere. It involves me going really close to my opponent, which is annoying, but not a massive deal. Um. What else can we draw? Like, I don't think we can draw like Frostburn. Basically the same. I'd rather play the Blighter. The other option is I can play the Alchemist here and the Blighter and then run away. Which protects me from getting hit in the face, which is quite significant. Um And I have I'll have three minions up. So the chances of the the chances of me being able to overdrive next turn if my opponent comes after me is are pretty high. So I think I, I think I I think I like those odds. Ping this. That's this. It only hits enemies, so this guy won't die. Um, I really want to keep the Scorn alive, but I think he's actually worth less than the 3 damage at this point. Um, can I play around AoE at all? No, if my opponent has a Death Blighter of her own. Maybe I can take 3 and just leave the Scorn here. Or, like, bring him there or something. So greedy though. No, I think it's worth it. We've got Wailing Overdrive. We can catch up. Like, I need to actually maintain a board lead. This is a super ballsy play, but I think we won. I think we won it. I'm, gonna actually, I'm actually going to replace this. I need like big stuff, hard hitting stuff. Okay, this is good. This is okay, and obviously this is great. So we we could in theory I think win the game here. Um, say my opponent kills this. We have. Well, she'll run away from this. Oh, she can't if she wants to attack this. That's good. Um. But she can body block pretty easily. So I guess that's unlikely. Whistler into Wailing if you can't remove it is scary. Yes, but it's very slow. I think I'd rather play Wailing Overdrive on one of these. And replace looking for like Silverbeak, Removal. What, um, just anything that like... Playing a 2-4, she can just kill it, probably. Um, like this is the first turn where we've really stuck minions. Maybe that was greedy. Maybe I should have just gone for that. But... Um, I don't really care if the thing with Wailing Overdrive on it dies afterwards. I just need to make sure it hits for as, as much damage as possible. This looks very promising too. The Blighter is still in Wailing range. I agree. Oh yeah, crap. I can't Wailing this guy. He's there, isn't he? Damn, I should have put it here. Or there, rather. There is better. Um, yeah, I mean, the, as long as she doesn't kill this, we're still okay. So, Like, Frostburn is a bit awkward here. Ah, oh, she's got something. Flash freeze. That is kind of annoying. That's uninteresting. We can kill that with the scorn. We can kill that with the scorn too. Crap. <laughs> we might have to use removal on that. So I guess like we can Primus Fist on this. Come down, kill this. Altered Beast. Um, 
That leaves the Primus Fist as a target for Wailing Overdrive. Um, oh wait, the Warbird clears this way. Oh, I can, in that case I can get rid of this because I can use the Blistering Scorn to kill it. Ooh, yes. Okay. I think I want to surround my opponent here, right? Um, which is awkward because I want to play the Conjurer like there, but I need to Warbird first. Um, I guess I can put like I can put the Primus Fist here then Conjurer, then Warbird trade here, bring this guy down that lines up neatly no wait, this has to come kill the boy, Bale Hunter I'm getting confused this is killing this I'm Warbirding, this is killing this so I guess the best I get is putting it here which it'll still be able to attack my opponent next turn but she can avoid the Wailing Overdrive which sucks I'm going to save this Primus Fist in case of AoE. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, no, it does matter. I still need to not lose on, like, card advantage. Oh, that's surprising. Oh, she's only got one card left in hand. We've got we've got this. We're crushing this. Hey, Makuta, I'm multitasking and playing Gauntlet 2. If I end up sniping you, I promise I'm not paying attention. Um, that is fine. If you end up sniping me, it means I've won this game. Which means we've got the free next run anyway, so whatever. Archon's a great... Yeah, yeah, Archon's really good here. This is exactly what I want. Big minions to pressure. Um, I mean, if I'm lucky, she only goes here. Or, like, decides she needs to kill this. And we can overdrive and get lethal. But that's unlikely. I imagine she'll just run away. And this is going to be useless. But that's fine, because we can just replace it. Or cast it anyway and replace whatever comes off this. Because that's another way of making a big... A big dude less mana than the Archon. There we go, we can use it to kill that. Oh, perfect. Ow. Um, do we have lethal? I think we're two off. We're two damage off lethal right now. Um, let's replace this and see if I get... What can I even hit? Oh, save no, I've used Saber Spine already, haven't I? That doesn't do it. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's good. No. <laughs> Face. I'm just gonna stay all the way over here. I don't want to risk like random burst. I guess there's not much you could actually have for one card, but still. Um, lethal right? Yeah, it's sadly it's too off. <laughs> I mean, we have. I think we have to play this for BM purposes, right? I mean, I think it gets like one Arcanist, but that doesn't even matter. In fact, it might even get zero. I don't think we've played anything that we've drawn off this yet. Man, this card is insane, though. So much value. That was an interesting game. I still don't know if replacing the Arrow Whistler was actually a good idea. I feel like it was, but... We should hopefully get the, the concession here. <laughs> Unless she's got like concealing shroud or something. Don't shroud. Okay, good. Woo! Made it to seven wins. That's pretty good from two and two. I was not expecting that to work out the way it did.